gasoline engine achieves maximum efficiency if the combustion pressure in the center reaches a when the tank angle is about 10 degrees past top dead center. This means that ignition should be timed accordingly. This graph shows the process in terms of the pressure changes inside the cylinder. Even if ignition takes place at point one, combustion doesn't start immediately. Instead, combustion starts at point two, and compression starts to increase. The compression reaches maximum at point three, and combustion comes to an end at point four. The period between one and two is called the ignition delay time. For a given fuel, this delay is more or less fixed, irrespective of the engine speed. So let's think about what happens if the engine speed increases. Because the ignition delay time between one and two is constant, the angle through which the crank rotates in the same period of time increases. The point at which maximum pressure is reached lags behind 10 degrees. So in this case, it is necessary to advance the ignition timing. If the load on the engine increases, the volume of the air-fuel mixture and the compression pressure inside the cylinder increase. The temperature of the air-fuel mixture goes up, and so the mixture burns faster. As a result, the combustion time gets shorter. This graph shows what happens. In this case, the ignition timing has to be retarded. It is changed according to the engine speed and driving conditions.